What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Before we get into episode four of Atlanta, I wanted to talk about season two. It was officially renewed yesterday, so that's something to look forward to. I I'm just very excited that the show is going to continue. And considering the ratings and all the talk about it, there was no doubt in my mind that it wasn't going to go for season two. Um, at this rate, I wouldn't be surprised if it makes it into season three, four, five. As, as long as Donald and you know the team around him wants to continue producing this show, I can see it going on for a long time. Getting into episode four, it's called the Streisand Effect. In this one, the the formula is the same. You got two stories going on simultaneously. The first one is Paperboy dealing with an internet troll. His name is Zan, and I think Zan was very popular among like the internet chatter because he is that internet troll that we all know. There's many of them out there that are exploiting hip hop and you know talking trash about people hiding behind the screen. So he was like a brilliant character to have, and I think showing Paperboy dealing with him also plays to the fact that he's. Um, you know, starting to get more buzz here and there. And on top of that, I feel like Zan was given like the insight of like what happens to an internet troll outside of the internet. Now, obviously, Paperboy's not this violent dude, so he wasn't about to run up on him and, and sock him in the face. He's more logical than that. But in this scenario, I liked it because then they went on this ride, and I I think it was just a strong scene where. Zan is talking about how Paperboy is essentially exploiting drug dealing in his raps. And in turn, Zan is just exploiting him. So that's why he's, he's saying all the things online. I'm not saying that either side is right in the situation. I'm just saying it was a strong scene to give Zan a little bit more dimension. And I really hope that he's not a one-off character. I think his performance was strong enough that we'll see him again. He should continue to play a role in the situation of, you know, Paperboy's career and just the whole uh, Atlanta show in general. Zan to me was very comical and at times he was cringeworthy, just his attitude and his style. But then again, I feel like they did really capture that internet troll, the presence. You've seen people on YouTube do videos and they're just like Zan. It's scary how uh, accurate he was as a character. Um, and then you got the, you know, the people that continue to exploit hip-hop. Uh, Paperboy had this one quote when he was in uh, the bar playing pool. He said, he's selling t-shirts. He don't love hip-hop. He's exploiting it. I really like that line. On the flip side, you had Darius and Ernest go on a, a little adventure. It's the first time that they really got to spend time away from Paperboy. So I thought this would be a, a good um, arc of the show to explore. So, Ernest needs money. It's like the central running theme of Atlanta so far. And in order to do that, he has to sell his phone. He could have got $190, but Darius convinces him to get this sword. He says he can make more money. And, you know, in typical Darius fashion, you're like, He's kind of skeptical, but he, he agrees because he trusts Darius. I think even though he's like very out there and weird, Darius is a trustworthy person. So then they go on this little adventure, this journey where they trade the, the sword for a dog. And then the dog goes to this um, farm area. And then the bombshell is dropped that he's not getting any money today. It's more of an investment. And I think that was a, a cool idea to do. Then it opens up for the future. I, I hope this isn't forgotten. I hope that the, uh, the $2,000 that he gets from the dog's breeding actually comes. And I want it to come at a time where it's uh, it fits into a storyline. I'm not, I'm not even saying like in season one, but I hope it's just not like a one-off idea and then it's just forgotten and not pushed again. Um, I also feel like the interaction between Darius and Ernest was really good, especially on Darius' behalf. He's becoming one of my favorite characters on the show. Then you have the interaction between Darius and Ernest, and I feel like it was just gold in this episode. Um, Darius, to me, has a lot of great one-liners. He talks about um, how he's giving Ernest his phone at the very end of the episode, and he says, I get a new one every month because I don't want them to track me. 
Um, I thought it, again, it works to his character. Um, and then when they were going to see the Chinese for, um, you know, the dog, Darius is trying to give him like a history lesson about Genghis Khan and how Chinese people don't even like blacks anyway. And he tells him to look it up. And Ernest, I like his reaction because his, his reaction is, is very funny to me. It was just, where am I supposed to look it up? In the racist handbook? Some, you know, something like that. And I thought that was, um, you know, it was funny. Um, and then the last line of the entire episode is, we're friends now. I feel like that was a sentimental moment to end, um, especially because you look at like how much, uh, you know, Darius and Ernest went through in that particular episode just to possibly get some money. And in the end, it didn't happen. But Ernest, you know, he didn't blow up on him. He, he I mean, he had he kind of blew up on him a little bit. He had this really passionate speech about how he needs money now. Um, you know, being poor, you don't have time for investments. Um, it was very passionate, in my opinion. But they ended up making up. I'm sure uh, Darius giving Ernest the phone helped a lot. And I just liked it. I think Darius is a very intriguing character. All of them are, really, but... More so, I think Darius has a lot of them great one-liners, especially in this episode. So, those are my thoughts on Atlanta's fourth episode. Let me know what you thought about this episode in the comment section below. Um, and then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video. Follow me on Twitter, at Sermons Domain. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.